doesn't time fly? In a bit of irony, time has lost a little meaning for us. We're constantly chasing the what's next and doing what we can to keep things moving along smoothly. As we head into the new financial year, we're making lots of progress in many facets of the Marvel world and it's a really positive time. We feel positive um, and things in the world are, in general terms, starting to look a little bit more positive too. In January we updated you with our position at the time and it was a reflective time. Having just gone through Christmas and the huge surge of new customers, launching the Atlantic in the Coniston Black Edition um, at the tail end of last year which made a really positive impact on the business. This year already we've launched the Bonneville in the Air which um, has had a great reception. Our partnership with the Campbell Family Heritage Trust is really special and it brings us even closer to the two men who triumphed over adversity and uh, broke the barriers of speed. Lots of new and exciting things are starting to happen on the production front. The Solent is due to arrive at the beginning of June. The Pacific is already being manufactured as we speak. And the Apollo, the 35mm and the Subaquatic are in the early stages of production now as well. The product pipeline for this year and next year is looking really great. The 35mm and the Subaquatic are a little bit different to what we showed you last time. Um, just due to the natural project development as we go from initial concept through to uh, resolve design. And thinking where each of these designs sit in our range, what they represent and what they mean to us. Now that the projects are live and that we've handed them over to our manufacturing partners, the realities and the complexities um, of bringing these designs to market start. The finer details that must be discussed and ironed out, oftentimes creatively thinking through the little tweaks to achieve aesthetically the same outcome um, but with manufacturing compromises and tolerances addressed. The Apollo project, um, which is just our internal designation, it won't be called that um, when we launch it, is a different kettle of fish entirely. A square chassis with uh, round internals is a little bit more complex than I had imagined, um, especially if, like me, you're trying to keep things as um, slim and efficient as possible. We've done a bit of prototyping now um, to try and get a feel for how a square watch works and the sizing of it um, on the wrist, in the hand, and what it means for manufacturing. A 40 millimeter square watch, just due to the nature of it being square, actually looks and feels like a larger watch, something like 43 or 44 mil. Um, so that in itself has dictated the direction of the project. As usual, we're coming at this um, from a Marlow perspective, um, trying to be as original in design as we can. So our manufacturing partner is grappling a bit with um, our original designs and how to fit it into their manufacturing methods. Um, it's looking really great already. We're really lucky in that we have manufacturing partners that are willing to engage and um, be enthusiastic about what we're doing and to work with us to develop this final product that can only be better just due to the nature of everyone being invested in it. Two weeks ago we launched a new iteration of the Haskell. The significance of the global and the process that we all went through um, in thinking about it has had huge irreversible changes on all of us here at Marlow. For a long time now we've been becoming more globally aware uh, of what's going on and with Stephanie returning in February this year, this awareness has ramped up significantly. She's really passionate about conscious living and her knowledge about climate change is significant. And it feeds into a big shift in Marlow's history this year as we ramp up to move into our new headquarters on the banks of Loch Leven.
Our new office is nearing completion and when we move in, we'll be completely off grid. Electricity is supplied by the sun and heating is supplied by the earth. Our friends at LBA um, who are building this creative community are really switched on to what the future needs to look like and we're so chuffed to be part of this movement. This move to our new office will also mean that Stephanie and I can walk or cycle to work. Um, there's electric car charging points being installed too, allowing the staff from both offices to convert to electric vehicles. It marks a shift in our business to a more environmentally aware position. We've been making little steps in all areas of our business to try and reduce our impact on the world, be it our packaging, our supply chain or our working environment. It's slow work, but we're moving in the right direction and with the mindset that we have now, it'll only get better. So I guess this will be the last video um, that we shoot from the Perth office. Uh, the next video will likely come out of the new headquarters in Kinross. It's so exciting and daunting with the plans that we've laid out for this Orwell HQ, um, what this move means to us as a business and our growth, but also as a place of our own to uh, flourish and grow within. Um, it's been six years since Oliver and I first crossed paths and I never thought for a second that we'd be where we are now with this promising future ahead of us. Every year we get busier and busier and it becomes more challenging but with that increased complexity comes increased excitement. Not to mention the enjoyment that we are all getting from what we're doing here. And as the business matures, we have more understanding of where Marlow uh, sits in the world and what it stands for. So I want to take a wee opportunity to thank you all um, for supporting us over these six years. Uh, Championed us is the guys who put quality above all else, um, shared your stories, joined our community of like-minded people, it's a genuine honour to see such passionate people engaging with us and with our watches. Now that things are starting to look a bit more positive in the UK with vaccines rolling out to more age groups, we're hoping that soon we can start inviting people to our new digs. Um, it's going to be another interesting year, that's for sure. <laughs>